Hey guys, this is Tim Webb, Certified EPDM Administrator with EquiviQ Software. Just want to put together a quick video for you about how to create a watermark on your SOLIDWORKS drawings as they flow through SOLIDWORKS PDM workflow states so that the watermark will update automatically as it goes from initiated through design, through review, through pending release state, through the release. This is just simple workflow that we put together. Yours can look completely different, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to make this watermark update with the state names as that drawing rolls through these different states. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to start with, uh, let's go ahead and create a new document inside SOLIDWORKS. Let's create a new part. What we're going to do is put together just a quick disk. Everybody just hold on just a minute. We'll get this done pretty quick. We'll just extrude it 100,000, so that's good enough. We'll save this part out. We'll call this Watermark Test 2, since we've already got one in there called Watermark Test. Should get a data card. We can call this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And most of the time you've got a part number generator anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to use this field on the data card that's automatically got a default value set to not approve for build. This will be our watermark. It's a data card field called unreleased. And there we're done. All right, so what we're going to do is edit one of our existing sheet formats. Um, let's go to our templates folder inside EPDM. blank, no title block on it. All right, so what we're going to do is insert annotation, and we're going to put a note just right out here. We're going to give it a rotation angle of about 30 degrees. Right-click on the note itself, edit text in window. We're going to do a dollar sign PRP, which is going to pull the drawing property from this file, colon, in quotes, unreleased. Okay. It won't pick up any value because there's no value there now. We're going to change the font. We'll make it just a little bit bigger. We'll change it to half an inch. We can do points as well, but this this will do this will do for now. We're also going to change the text itself to be center justified. Okay, and then we're going to save this guy as a new drawing template. We'll call this watermark sample template. We'll go ahead and close that. Then back to our part, we're going to tell it to create or make drawing from part. And we're going to do watermark sample template. That's the drawing template we just created. This is fine. The defaults on that are fine. All right. And we're going to drag this guy right into here. We're going to project the view down, put in a dimension or two. good enough for now. Before we save this guy, let's get into EPDM and make sure our workflow is set up. We're going to take advantage of that variable. Let's take a look at our data card for our drawing. Here we go. And what we've got is this field on the data card, and this one has a field called unreleased, has a default value of not approved for build. It updates all configurations. We've got it set to read only because we're just going to update this thing as we go through the drawing transitions. Go to the variables, and we have a custom property. Our block name is custom property. The attribute name is unreleased, and it's only for SOLIDWORKS drawing files. That takes care of the mapping to get the value from the data card into the actual custom property inside SOLIDWORKS. Then what we're going to do is um, whenever our drawing gets created, it will be in the initiated state, and then we will, in, under initiate engineering, our first transition, we're going to take a look at the action here, set variable, Set variable or set watermark is the description. It's going to do the set variable. Only run for file, SOLIDWORKS drawings. Update this variable unreleased. And for now, what we're going to do in this test is just update it with the destination state. That's all. Not, not going to do anything else. And then over here, it's going to update also as it moves from engineering to design review. We've got an action set here, one here, and then one here. The action in submit for release, We'll go ahead and we'll clear that, and we'll just make it a space so that it'll actually clear that value out for us because you don't want a watermark displaying on your actual release drawings. And then whenever we, once again, we go to create a new and uh, create a new revision, it will then set it again to the destination states. All right, so we'll go ahead and save that out. Back over to SOLIDWORKS, and we will save this. We'll set this to go into 
engineering projects and stepper motor. That'll be fine. Okay, as soon as it saves, it's going to bring up the data card. And again, we've got this already set for not approved for build, which is good. As soon as we click OK, our watermark is here on our drawing. It shows up for us. Now, this should be on the sheet format, and this is usually where I would put this. And I would also make sure it's centered up. And like right now, it's just it's just right here, right on the front of the drawing. We don't really want that. You actually want it on the sheet format. Um, so this takes some cleanup, but this is just to prove the concept. All right, we've got it now checked out. We'll go ahead and save this guy and uh, over an EPDM add-in, we will check this guy in. Check in, and we're going to check in both the part and the drawing. Okay, very good. There we go. We're going to initiate engineering, send it over to here. So let's go ahead and take that transition. Put in a transition comment. This is completely up to you guys. You set it however you need to. As soon as that guy transitions, it picks up the destination state, which is engineering design. And that's good. That's exactly what we want it to be. If the file's not checked out, it's going to update as we transition through. Let's go ahead and transition this through to review. Okay, the watermark is now updated. Let's go to pending release. Put in whatever normal comments you would put in. Watermark's updated. And then finally, we're going to send this drawing to the release date. At this point, the watermark completely disappears off the face of the drawing, which is what we want, because whenever this is in the release state on the manufacturing floor, you don't want the watermark pasted all over the front of it. You only want the watermark there to uh, notify or alert anybody who's looking at an, at an unreleased copy or looking at data behind the scenes. Uh, in the engineering department or any of the review departments. All right, so now we're going to do one last test, which is going to be to send the drawing back to the engineering uh, design so that other work can be done. As soon as the drawing goes back, we should pick up the watermark once again. It's back in engineering design. As we've shown you today, we have uh, shown you how to set up the, the watermark on a drawing template. We've shown you how to, and again, you need to put that on the sheet format so that it's not just on the actual sheet itself. And then we've shown you how to link it to the custom property and what property that is, and then how to update it with the actions as it goes through the uh, transitions in your workflow. This is Tim Webb, Certified EPDM Administrator for QuiviQ Software. Thanks for watching.